We're here with Cecil Bays at Hot Zone, and uh, there's some new products coming out of Hot Zone. Um, and right now, we're going to take a look at the compressors. Okay, so we also brought the uh, lightning compressor. This is a whole all in one compressor, 110 volt. So you just plug it right into the wall, and you can fill up your tanks, your guns, whatever you have you. Um, what we did is we took and we designed this as something that we wanted from uh, an air gunner standpoint. You know, I'm an air gunner. I, I, I know what I want in a compressor. So we added, instead of a manual gauge, it's kind of hard to read, you know, is that needle pointing at 150 bar or is that 180 bar? If, you know, because you have some of those older guns that you just want to fill to get to that sweet spot, you know? There's no point in filling it to 3,000 PSI if it doesn't start shooting good until 2,800, right? So what we did was we added a digital gauge. Um, and you can set it. It goes in 10 bar increments. It goes either in bar or in PSI. What you can do is you can program the compressor with this gauge. And by that, you can program your fill pressure or you can also program your purge, which this compressor, our compressor, has an auto purge feature. You can turn it on and off. You can set the interval that you want it to purge. So if you're filling a large, like 90 cubic foot tank, over that period of time that it takes to fill it, you're going to build up moisture in your separator, which we have two separators on the compressor also. So it's a three-stage water control system, a moisture control system. So, well, well, when you say set the interval of the purge, um, you're saying that automatically after so many minutes, it'll dump the water. Exactly. You set it from a one minute up to, I believe it goes up to 30 minutes. So you can set the interval so every minute, every 10 minutes, it'll purge and all that moisture that builds up in here, if any, it depends on the humidity naturally. Um, it will purge that, so it's just another feature that we put in there to help keep that moisture out of your gun because moisture kills guns. All right, and, and in talking about setting the fill pressure, <clears throat> what's the uh, maximum pressure on this? This will fill up to 5,000 PSI. Um, it will fill a 6.8 liter carbon fiber tank, so a 74 cubic foot tank, in from zero to 4,500 in right under an hour. And so it'll automatically shut off at? At this pressure that you set it at, okay. yes. Um, and the gauge is able to be calibrated. Oh, really? Yes, so you can calibrate it to the pressure that the pump's putting out. So, um, and then also you have, like I said, it's a three-stage moisture control system. You have a separator here. You also have a desiccant filter right before it goes out to the fill whip that goes out to your gun. It also has a one-way valve, so when the compressor shuts off and purges, or when it's purging as it runs, you don't lose any air out of your your uh, air tank or the, the hose going to your gun. And as far as a filter in here, is that re replaceable? Yes, replaceable filter. You can disassemble the or remove the fitting from the, the outlet filter and also replace the desiccant. This is desiccant. This is a filter a material. Filter. Yes. Gotcha. So you get, uh, it'll condense, condense on the filter and the, the, um, the separator body and drain out. Um, we put a lot of work into controlling uh, heat and temperature. We have water cooled, of course, with an onboard tank, radiator and fan. It's all enclosed in the unit, so you just fill up the tank, run it. You don't have to have a bucket on the ground with hoses running to it. Um, we also, did all stainless steel hoses and fittings on the, all the pressurized hoses and fittings. So you're gonna get a lot better corrosion resistance than some of the other pumps out there because they have steel. And we all know that heat and pressure and moisture do not do well with steel and corrosion. 
as far as operating it, you've got a bunch of buttons up here. Yes. Can you run through that? Yes, you have your main power switch, which also turns on your cooling pump and the fan. You turn that on, the system runs an automatic system check for pressure and for heat. And it has an audible voice that will come up and it'll say, you know, pressure or system is ready, turn on power. Um, maybe it says it, that may not be the exact words. It's kind, but, of a, kind of a Siri effect here. Right, exactly. Um, and what you do is once it tells you that the, the system is ready to go, all you have to do, once you have everything, you know, make sure all your fittings are tight, you're, um, you know, you're good to go, everything's clear, then you turn on the power, the pump starts up. Now you have a third switch here that turns on and off your purge. So you can use the purge feature or not use it. It's up to you. So you can turn that feature on and off. It has a temperature gauge in Fahrenheit. And it also has a breaker, of course, for any overload surges or anything like that. Reset. Um, as far as weight, uh, it's got handles here. Yes. So it's semi-portable. but it Yes, it, it weighs about 65 pounds um, without water in it and oil. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 somewhat portable. If you got a, a friend with you, you can you guys can take it to the range and back if you got power. Uh, but it's really meant to be kind of that stationary at your house, fill up your tank and 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 go. Um, unless you got you know a nice little shooting range in your backyard with the shed, and then you're set. Well, I, I could see this at uh, like a field target match too, so people could fill off something definitely, like this. Definitely, definitely. If you're having a competition or something, you can do that. Do you have an idea about the service life on this? How many cycles, how much, how many minutes or hours um, before it may need some the service? The first service really is, is around 100 hours. It really depends on the conditions that you're using it in. If you're using it indoors in a temperature controlled environment, there's less heat, there's less, you know, less contaminants getting into your, your lubricants and stuff, then it, it extends your service life. What do you do with it when you hit those uh, milestones? Uh, mainly it's just oil changes, um, filters and oil. Um, if you do have a seal that goes bad or something, you can. it comes with a full seal kit and it comes with the filter for the, uh, for the separator. And is there a way to keep track of how many hours you have on it? It does not have a time gauge, but on the manual there is a, a section in the manual where you track how long you've run it, what you filled to, you can track all of that for the maintenance log. Good, and, and if some, do we have a warranty on this? It has a one year warranty. Anything goes wrong, send it back, you folks will fix it. Exactly, it's, it. right, exactly. Um, uh, well, we have a service crew that will, will repair it. Um, I, am, I am the operations manager, so they, my guys will, will get you taken care of. The other thing that, that we haven't talked about is the price. What do you see this retailing at? This is gonna retail at $12.99. So under $1,300, um, and that's MSRP. You might actually see it out there a little bit less at you know, some point, but um, that's gonna MSRP. Position between the cheaper, um, fully portable gun filling compressors that are coming out this year, right? and the shoe box, and then at the other end. You can, you can go up to you know breathing air capable compressors that run, you know, $10,000. It does fit right in there in that, that obtainable price point for a durable compressor that will last. Um, well, it, a lot of those those cheaper compressors, they they don't have nearly the lifespan and service life and the ability to fill large tanks um, in a reasonable amount of time without overheating. These are made in Turkey? No, these are not made in Turkey. These are made in a factory in China. And do you have people over there watching this? We do have quality control. Okay. So, um, and then also they, they come into our facility here in the United States and then we we inspect them before we, we ship them out. Do you expect these to be available from other names, uh, you know, rebranded or is it an exclusive? These, these won't be rebranded. These will be exclusive to us. So don't wait for um, you know, discount compressors to come out with their stamp on it. No, no, not our compressor, no. Okay, very good. Well, that's, I think it's a great product and I uh, wish you a lot of luck with it. And we'll also have, uh, um, well, I did have a flyer here, I guess I don't now, but we'll have a complete fill solution system with uh, carbon fiber tanks, everything you need. 
And this is all part of giving you everything you need to, to get started in air guns from the compressor to fill your gun, the gun and the ammo. We carry the H&N ammo. So, and we have our line of Vortex pellets. So. Uh, Cesar, what can you tell us about uh, the hand pumps? Um, this year we're bringing in two new hand pumps. We have a three stage and a four stage. Uh, the price points are going to be 119 for the three stage and 149 for the, uh, the four stage. Um, what we did was we took and we looked at the pumps that were available, the hand pumps on the market, and we just made some slight changes to uh, make, make a pump that we, we thought was the consumer would want. We added, you know, you've got one of the most the simplest things that most pumps don't have is just something to hang that hose up. Most pumps, the hose just flops around. Um, but we figured we'd go a little bit further and we added a filter, a moisture and, and dirt filter, because you know, you're gonna get, it's a hand pump, you're gonna get that moisture and stuff built up. We put it on the high side right before it goes into your gun. That way you actually get, catch all that moisture. Because I don't know if you know, you've ever had it, you know, you pump it up, you got the desiccant filter before the, before the high pressure, you pump it up and then you go to drain it and you got all this water that comes out when you drain it. Well, guess what, that all went into your gun or some of that went into your gun. So this will reduce the amount of moisture that's getting into your gun and help your gun last longer. Why did you go with the four stage on the, uh, on the one model? The four stage will be a little bit easier to pump. It takes less effort, less strokes to get to the same pressure. Less strokes. Exactly. It's not a major amount of strokes less. I think it's like 20 or 30 per 100, so. Gotcha, and are there other, um, as far as the moisture protection, um, other attachments you can put in here? Or? Yes, we do offer an additional filter. This here is a rebuildable filter that somebody really Hulk smashed on here. Um, you just unscrew it. You can replace this filter here, which does trap some of the moisture, but it's got a large enough cavity that you can add desiccant to it to, um, to filter even more moisture out. And this will work with your existing pump, your hand pump, your compressor, whatever. It's got foster fittings on both sides. It's got a, a male and a female. So you just plug it on the end of your fill whip and then hook it on to your gun or you can add another fill whip to it. But this will help you um, protect your gun even more. Okay. That's good. You protect just put it, put it somewhere in line and keep that air dry. Exactly. And clean. This will retail in that $20 price range. We also, speaking of fill whips, we'll also have fill whips available. So. Well, you, you've got a lot of fittings here. Yes, we're, we're trying, it's a complete, it's a tact air systems. So we have a complete fill solution for everything that you need.